Hello again. Today's video is about compound movements and single joint movements. These are two types of exercises you will do in your quick hit workouts. The majority of your workouts will be made up from compound movements. What is a compound movement? Well, it's a movement or an exercise where action occurs at more than one joint. So let me pick two examples that you should be pretty familiar with by now. One is the chest press, where you're pushing and coming back this way. And you can see that movement's happening at both the shoulder joint and at the elbow joint. So we've got action at more than one joint, which means that it's a compound movement. Another exercise that you'll be familiar with at Quick Hit is the rowing movement. Again, this is where you're pulling towards you and stretching back in the other direction. This is much like the chest press in that it involves movement and action at the shoulder joint and the elbow joint, but this time it's the muscles around the back of your body that are performing the work, whereas with the chest press, it's the muscles across the front of the body. These compound movements and other ones like them will be the cornerstones of your routine. They're so good and beneficial because they use multiple muscles and muscle groups to create that movement. So you're not just focused in on like the biceps. Uh, in a row, for example, you're using the biceps, you're using the traps, you're using the rhomboids, big muscles of the upper back, you're using the lats, another big muscle of the upper back, you're using your uh, low back muscles to hold you in position. So a compound movement means that multiple muscles are receiving a stimulus within that one exercise. This makes them highly efficient. It also means that there's a greater metabolic demand on your body. Your body has to use more energy. Your breathing rate will elevate higher. Your heart rate will increase more. It also produces, these type of exercises also produce a greater hormonal response. So you release more hormones in response to these big movements. Another advantage to them, especially at the outset, is they're easier to learn and coordinate these big gross motor skills. And probably that's because they're more similar to the everyday movements that we do when we're moving around and using all our joints uh, and muscles sort of synergistically together. So that's compound movements. What are single joint movements? Well, as the name suggests, that's where action occurs around only one joint. So for example, at the elbow joint, we bend in a biceps curl or in its opposite, the triceps extension. And when we're doing that, when we're moving just one joint, primarily when we perform an exercise, only one muscle group is targeted. So in the biceps curl, it's the biceps muscle that's doing all the work. In the triceps press down, it's the triceps that's doing all the work. Now, these smaller single joint exercises are good because they help to focus on weak areas and they can help to restore balance and be used to rehab. Um, we use them less because, again, they're not as efficient at stimulating big areas of muscle in one go, but we use them to round out your routine, to focus on specific areas where there might be a weakness or we want to enhance the stimulus to that particular area. So they are still very useful exercises. So to sum up, at Quick Hit, you will use both compound, the big movements, and some single joint movements as well to get a thorough workout for your entire body. 